In this video, I'll show you how to enable DKIM for Microsoft 365 account. Let's first understand DKIM or Domain Keys Identified Mail. Think of email as digital documents like images or PDFs. Just as a watermark is embedded in a document to verify its authenticity and ownership, DKIM embeds a digital watermark in emails. This watermark or digital signature is invisible to the naked eyes but can be detected by email servers and spam filters. It confirms that the email comes from the claimed sender and has not been tampered with. Just as a watermark on a document proves its legitimacy, DKIM's digital watermark ensures the legitimacy of an email and prevents fraudsters from impersonating the sender. To enable DKIM for the Microsoft 365 account, First, log in to the admin dashboard of Microsoft 365. Here, I'll click on Show All. Under Admin Centers, I'll click on Security. Here at the left, I'll select Email and Collaboration. Now, I will select Policies and Rules. Here, I'll select Threat Policies. Now, I'll scroll down to find the email authentication settings. I'll click on that. And here, I'll go to the DKIM tab. Here you will see all the domains in the Microsoft 365 account. I have only one domain here, tgskillslab.com. I'll click on that. It says the DKIM is disabled. I'll click on this button to enable DKIM. It shows client error because it did not find the CNM records in the DNS settings of my domain. I need to add the CNM records. Here I am on my GoDaddy account and this is the domain tgskillslab.com. I'll click on the DNS option and I'll add a new record. I'll select the CNAME as the type and here I need to copy the records what I see here. First I need to copy the host name. This is the host name, selector1.domainkey. I'll copy this and I'll put it here. Now I need to copy the value for the first host name. I'll copy the value selector1 up to this. I'll paste it here. I'll click on this button add more records. Here I'll select CNAME again. I'll copy the second host name. I'll put it here. I'll copy the value for this host name. I'll put it here. Now I'll save all records. I added these two CNAME records. Now I'll go here. I'll click on the OK button. It can take a few minutes to update the records. If I try to enable it again, I'll see the status. It didn't find the records yet. I'll wait for a few minutes and I'll check it back again. Let's try it again. I'll click on the button to enable the DKIM and here it is enabled now. It says it may take several minutes to synchronize the status change. I'll click on the OK button. So the DKIM is enabled for this domain now. Now all the outgoing emails from this domain are secured. Here you have an option to rotate DKIM keys. On this Microsoft document, it says, for the same reason that you should periodically change passwords, you should periodically change the DKIM key that's used to DKIM signing. So you should periodically rotate the DKIM keys. When you rotate the DKIM keys, you do not need to update the CNAME records again. Just click on this button and the DKIM keys will be updated. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.